for adaptability, an automatic washer that would still let a housewife do her washing the way she wanted to do it. That meant a flexible time and cycle system. To these three basic demands, the engineers added one of their own, an automatic washer so well balanced it wouldn't need bolting down. I should really make a joke about so marriage with, here. What uh, would be uh, right in an automatic washer? Your lab men proceed to find out what's wrong with existing types, and then the fun begins. You don't get out much, Most do you? Most good ideas start out as problem children. It is the design engineer's job to make them adoptable. <laughs> this man is an artist the with analogies. The engineer has a team of draftsmen to help him translate ideas into working parts. And with time, and patience, and trial after trial, and a few bribes, one of your brain children at last becomes socially acceptable. A sports you fan a stuck in a dead end job. Another, the agitator, in time gets a superior twin. Keith Oberman. Again, after many tests and rejections, you finally come up with the agitator you want. One that does an even better job of washing clothes than originally requested. But here, in the Suds return system, you find an engineering challenge so typical it hurts. You begin that crying yourself to sleep at night after easing the pain with your old pal, good, Jack Daniel. Design. Starting from scratch, the first exploratory attempt was crude. The engineers tried an electric motor, an automobile pump, and a siphon line into the washer tub. An earlier the attempt involved child labor, but it wasn't cost effective. Switch and the water returned through the top opening of the washer tub. No good. In time, a two-way valve development got rid of the siphon hose, but the new pump still hung on the side of the tub, still unsatisfactory. Tisk tisk. Then both motor and pump were hidden beneath the washer, and a new problem was born. Electric In dust bunnies? Uh, I don't The pump now know. required precisely a pint of priming water to start its suds return action. A coffee can held just enough, but soon production was slow as they had to wait for the coffee in the break room to run out each time. Eventually, the priming can became an aluminum derby hat, itself subject to further improvement. <laughs> After many other refinements, the engineers finally released the unit to production. A good, simple design. It works beautifully. You know, on some distant alien planet, that image probably is beautiful to this someone. This baton-like affair is a steel rod with a hard rubber Four. ball at each end. beat that, I dare you. Believe it or not, the rubber ball is used to eliminate bounce. Again, eventually, a simple design, the ball-rod suspension system is the engineer's unique answer to their own problem. A perfectly balanced machine that needn't be bolted down. And these, of course are just some of the things George Warren couldn't be expected to know about automatic washers and how they're made. Because, as we've already established, he is an idiot. Carol? Yeah? Are you sure you gave Mr. Walligan the right number? Relax. He isn't supposed to call until 6 o'clock. And it's not 6 o'clock. Well, that killed what little suspense we You're had. You're right, Jim. You're right. DC is what better than Marvel. Do, Jim? You got all the clothes in? Yep. And close the lid and set the timer for about uh, four, 12 minutes. That's all very true. To a woman, the most important thing is how it looks. Yes, yeah, styling was important to Nancy. Sure. You know? I don't know why she married me. It's beautifully simple. Simple. That's exactly the point. Appliances? Why, it's the same with furniture, automobiles, houses, anything. If you want to make it easy to live with for a long time, it's got to be made simple. Simple and functional. That's all there is to styling. Well, at least that's what I always say. Yeah, and frankly, Mr. it's Danny, getting a bit old. It is easier said than done. How do you go about styling a new automatic washer? As with engineering design, you begin long before the first washer ever goes into production. It is a process of patient deliberation over hundreds of styling ideas. So should we go Eventually, with the white box or the white box? Final selections and minute details of form, balance, color, and working requirements. Here, for instance, is a pleasing design. Good form, nice balance, depth, use of color. I think but your color's a bit too deaf there. 
you'd have to raise a second lid to place oh, your clothes in the heaven tub. forbid here's another idea equally attractive at first glance but chrome trim like seasoning and food has narrow limits of tolerance so, so true. partly because of over seasoning and again because raising the whole top seemed unnecessarily cumbersome for women being the frail rejection. inferior things that they are so it goes with rejections and refinements measured always against the best interests of the ultimate user leading at last to the one best styling design a clean line simply designed purely functional beauty and the long search is over it is worth the effort because even though the average person Charlie Danning for instance may never has no there been a man so thoroughly he finds it easy to live with for a long time don't you ever inhale go ahead and deal <laughs> and stop gloating <laughs> never figured to pay out on both of you <laughs> it won't happen again I assure you <laughs> This must be an inside joke. Wait a minute, Jim. Let this one be on me. Well, I suppose Nancy'd be lost without it now. Without what? Well, that complete laundry outfit. Oh, yes, yes, you would. <laughs> Marilyn, too. I guess we all would. Like watching a bird fly Service into a window in slow huh? motion. Does that mean it isn't? Or you don't know? Both. We haven't needed service yet. But I'm sure Tom Mulligan stands squarely behind everything he sells. You can say that again. Tom Mulligan handles only the best. And he backs it up with good service. Well, at least that's what I've always heard. I also heard that they're faking the moon landings. A good name. Worthy of friend-to-friend -friend advertising is a very desirable asset. To be a permanent asset, it must stem directly from the manufacturer and through subliminal advertising into the product. Without effort, it is not easily gained. Without constant vigilance, it is easily lost. Like I said, freedom, washing machines, At same the thing. At plant in St. Joseph, Michigan, constant vigilance goes by a simpler name. They call it quality control. And it starts with incoming materials and extends throughout all plant operations. With the exception of public relations, it would seem. You find quality control in precise laboratory tests made before any quantity shipments of materials are accepted. You find quality control in giant operations that keep in mind the human factor. Here for they're making sushi in bulk. All hands must be on the starter buttons before this press will operate. You find quality control in specially designed machines, such as this tangent bender. For greater strength, it forms the automatic washer cabinet from one piece of sheet steel. Never has bending metal been so dramatic. Then an automatic welding machine, called a stitch welder, completes the one-piece construction. Let go, boy. Let go. Hey, there. And you find quality control in better ways to do such things as painting. Artists These are far too unpredictable. automatic paint sprayers lay on an incredibly smooth, even finish through electrical attraction, an entirely new principle. Discovered some but 45 minutes ago over in R&D. control in specific checkpoints, not only at the finish stage, but at every step of the way. More than 10% of the workers here are quality control inspectors, and you find them checking every part of every machine. Every base plate assembly is checked to make sure the supporting studs are perfectly aligned. In soundproof, quiet rooms, running tests of hey, all I can hear the ocean. Made. In this instance, the gear case assembly. Every one is tested before it moves on. The heart of the suds return system is the two-way valve. Every one is checked for possible leaks before it moves on. <sighs> this job sucks. 